RI coach, uh, put together the best winning percentage in the school's NCAA history. Um, just overall thoughts on the season and performance. Um, yeah, Jesse, it was a, a tremendous year for us. You know, obviously, I think I hinted to it before, the, the adversity we faced with the weather and the field and a number of different circumstances, you know, were, were, were tough on us. And I, I just actually put a post on Twitter about, you know, this season about adversity and, and growth. And, you know, we really grew from all our experiences. And, and for us to have, you know, that type of season only playing in, and was it 36 games, was was this tremendous testament to the kids, the hard work of our coaching staff, and, and just a number of, of different people buying in as well as having our support from administration and everybody else. Okay, now this year, I mean, you beat the teams that you were you know, kind of supposed to beat. You hung in with some of the, like, the big hitters, even pulled off a game against Fairmont. Uh, can you just speak about where the program is right now based off of those? Yes, I feel like we're in a, we're in a great spot, Jesse. I, I, when, I, when we bring kids on campus, I always talk about our first goal is to be the best D2 in the state and, and then to be regionally um, recognized after that and then obviously get to the national level. And, you know, I think, you know, that, that tier of the state tier, you know, we, we played a really good, we beat a really good Charleston team this, this spring, um, West Virginia State, who's regionally ranked, Fairmont, um, Glenville. Those are all guys that we've been competitive with, Ohio Valley. And, and then we also played some, some big boys like a Cal PA, and they put it on us, or a King University. So we're, we're really close to that next tier. And, and, and we kind of told the boys heading home for the summer, we, we want to take our program to that next tier. I mean, I think we're in a really good spot in the state. We're, we're building a lot of momentum with, with recruiting and, and with our success. I mean, there's a lot of great programs and, and, and great coaches in the state and great teams. But you know, we think we're ready to, 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 to keep elevating ourselves on that level and then hopefully – you know, within the next year, we can be making some some headwaves and, 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 and making a presence in, in the region. Okay, what do you think this team learned about itself in terms of what it can be, and also how much needs to how much work it needs to put in to get there? Well, that's a great question. I think we, we definitely learned that that we have a lot of talent and we have um, a really a really unique culture and, and family atmosphere. I, I I joked with the guys all year long. I said we're just a a uh, crazy group of misfit kids that, that just finds a way to to play for one another and, and buy into what we're doing. But we're still not there yet. You know, there's still some discipline that needs to be, um, you know, accounted for. Some accountability that we need to that we need to make sure we're holding a high, high standard in our program. But that's not those aren't bad things. Those are always good things that are going to benefit your program. I think we've realized that talent wise, we're really close. You know, we need to gain some more experience. We need to tighten up some things and, and continue to develop players. Um, and then from a program standpoint, we just got to make sure that accountability and those standards are across the board. And, and, and you know, we love our, our fun, laid-back atmosphere, but we also need to make sure we're creating an environment where it's those standards of blue-collar, hard work, um, just tough tough mentality is, is taken in all areas of, of their life. You know, we, we're really big on the academics, the community, and, and their growth as people. And if we can – if we can keep building young men and instilling those values and those lessons into their lives and pour into them with, with that love and that genuineness, we think the wins are going to really start taking care of themselves. Now, this is a very young team, and a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores. I mean, just as a coach, having this level of success this early in their careers, I mean, how excited are you for you building with them for, you know, two, three, four years now? Oh, yeah, Jesse, we're fired up about it. I mean, I, I can't tell you enough how excited I am. And um, just with this youth, I mean, we only, we've only graduated, you know, two players this year. We have, you know, 30 guys returning. We have a, a really big and talented, deep recruiting class, again, to continue to add more depth um, and continue to add more competition for spots. And, you know, I, I, I'm thrilled. You know, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled about what we have here. You know, I always, you know my brick-by-brick brick motto and – and now we've laid some 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 more bricks, and and those guys that we have in our program, you know, they're they're going to be a year older, they're going to be a year more physical, they're going to be a year more developed, and we just can't wait to see what some some of these returnees do with with the with the group of uh, talented incomers, you know, newcomers we have coming back or coming in. So you know, Jimmy Kramer is our, our best player, you know, our, probably our best talent, our most talented player, and we love Jimmy, and he's back, and his be his last year, and. Um, you know, I always it's just I don't know because you just you're you're digging it year by year. But you know, we'll have some. You know, Thyrus Jones is a senior. We'll have some other guys that are, 
that are going to be older guys and going to be moving on after next year. Albert Cartanudo, Michael Rupp, and some others. Now that you've told me that, it's, it's fresh in my mind. But it's still a young team with a really strong core of, of, of those four or five older guys that can help lead and help us go to you know, take us to the next level. Um, nice. Maybe what was your proudest moment just as a coach this year? Uh, I mean, my proudest moment I, I think would be would be two things. You know, one would be the way that this group pretty much encapsulated everything that I that I believe in and, and want to build. You know, it was they were completely all in and, and sold out from the beginning. Um, our staff was was absolutely tremendous. You know, just the entire journey for dealing with all of those ups and downs and highs and lows and. You feel like every time there was a, a, a great moment, there was a low moment, and just the way they balanced it all with a great, a great maturity and and just passion for the game of baseball and for each other, and and then this, the last thing would be just the way that they embraced my family. You know, my family was around all the time, and it's really special to have a group of guys and staff who understands, you know, my wife and my kids and, and blends, you know, just just makes truly embodies that family, and and to see. You know, our guys be such great role models and, and mentors to them is exactly what we want to build and what we want to create in our program. All right. Thanks, Coach.